Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to welcome everybody to my podcast. I am your gracious host, Jupiter Nine. And, you know, today's podcast, um, we got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's making a big stink about, you know, uh, what Sierra wore. Uh, I believe uh, she wore this at the Grammys, if I'm not mistaken. Uh yeah, uh, let's see. Where did she wear this? Let me see. Oh, at the Oscars. Vanity Fair Oscars. Um, So, yeah, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, man. Um, This is what I think about Sierra and her wearing the see-through dress at the Oscars. Um, Me, personally, man, this is what I think, guys. And... You know, there's nothing wrong with having confidence in yourself and confidence in your body. You know what I'm saying? Uh, If you work out and you're in really good shape, uh, you're supposed to have a confidence about yourself, you know, that you feel good, you know, about how your appearance look. You know, I think everybody should be conscious of how their appearance look in public. You know what I'm saying? You know, and this goes along along with, you know, the pants sacking, you know, that is something I despise. I mean, you can be walking down the street and you'll see a grown man. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough. You got young kids doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, sagging their pants, which is disgusting. You know, um, sagging their pants, you know, you know, everybody knows the origin of it by, by now, you know, a lot of, a lot of entertainers influence that look from Tupac Shakur to, you know, Jim Jones, of Dipset, the rap group Dipset, um, influenced that look and made it popular. It made a jail, something uh, that came from jail, something that came from, you know, the other side of the other side of the bridge. And you know what I mean when I say that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's very, very um, untasteful and it's very um, disrespectful to, to sag your pants as a young adult and as a grown man now if you're a teenager i will sort of give you a pass but still it's still disrespectful you know not only is it disrespectful disrespectful to yourself you're disrespecting your family you're disrespecting your ancestors you know what i'm saying um if you can afford a belt even if you can't afford a belt you can use a shoestring to tie your pants up and keep your pants you know above your waist Nobody wants to see your underwear, you know what I'm saying? So young people and adults who sag their pants, get a belt because it's very disrespectful to wear your pants below, you know, below your 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 butt your butt crack. And this whole thing with Sierra kinda kinda goes in line with that, sort of. You know what I'm saying? Um I believe her wearing the dress that she did in the Oscars, uh, it, it was very distasteful. You know what I'm saying? What happens at class? Now, I mean, it seems like class is disappearing every year. You know, um, women are doing more and more things to get attention online. And, you know, this is getting a lot of women, you know, um, a lot of women are losing their life because of things like this. You know what I'm saying? Wearing very minimum amount of clothes as possible. And they end up getting these crazy people stalkers, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, a lot of times these women don't understand the risk that they take on wearing clothing that way, and yeah, I know what you're going to say, a lot of women are going to say, well, I'm an adult, I should be able to wear what you want to, which is true, you know what I'm saying, which is true, but there's a, there's a certain level of respect you should have for not only you, uh, your husband, you know what I'm saying, now, she's married with children, you know what I'm saying, no pun intended. I know. I don't know if a lot of people remember the show Married with Children, but uh, um, she's married with with children. And you you know, every time you step outside, whether if you are together with your husband or if you, you if you're with your wife at to- at the time, uh, you two represent each other. Now, I mean, if he goes out and wears something that's disrespectful, he go if he goes out and sags his pants. Um, he's not only being disrespectful to himself, he's being disrespectful to her and his children. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You know what I mean? Sierra's 30, 39 years old. And um, 
she should know better you know what I'm saying as as a woman and I don't know where this came from because looking back on Sierra's career she never really did this type of um, scandalous type of thing you know wearing very minimal clothes like she was always very classy and very she's very talented you know she can dance her butt off and um, I think her singing her singing is very underrated I think she she's a, a, a solid singer and um, but a, a dancer you know she's in the lines of you know Chris Brown or Marion you know um, who else uh, Michael Jackson all the the top tier dancers I put her in the same uh, category she can dance her butt off man she can dance and um but she's in another aspect of her career another aspect of her life you know if she would have did this when she was like mm, in her early 20s 21 22 I might have let it slide because she doesn't have that connection she doesn't have any type of um a motherhood connection to her to what she's wearing you dig what i'm saying you understand what i'm trying to say like she's not a mother yet she's not a wife yet now i mean she's still young and still trying to find her way now i mean the same thing goes along with the pants sagging you know what i'm saying if you real young and you pants sag it's still dis dis disrespectful to not only you but people in public uh your family you know what i'm saying you are you represent everybody you dig what i'm saying when you go out in public so the pan second thing is very distasteful and her you know wearing this dress at this point in time in her life where she's becoming a, a elder not only in entertainment and as a singer and someone who's supposed to be a role model to young young ladies out there you know what i'm saying um it's it's distasteful in this in this time in day you know in her life you know what i'm saying now like, again if she would have did this younger i would have might let it slide you know when you're young you don't know who you are yet you know what i'm saying you're still trying to find your way um you really don't understand the consequences of wearing something distasteful like that you know what i'm saying because you're young you know what i'm saying you don't you don't understand really you know what i mean your, your brain hasn't mentally developed to where you know you don't understand some people mentally don't develop until late and um your brain has it developed to the point to where you know you understand um you understand that wearing something like this is very distasteful you're just doing it because you're young and you're having fun and you know when you're younger you know what i'm saying um everybody's body is pretty much intact for the most part you know your body doesn't your body don't start really falling off until your mid 30s and then when you get into your late 30s so she's still you know what i mean in that in that zone to where you know and it looks like she works out you know what i'm saying so she's probably very confident in her body uh very confident in her looks you know what i'm saying she should be she's a nice looking young lady you know what i'm saying but me if i was her husband i would be like no nah, that's not a go you know what i'm saying you're not stepping out like that you know what i mean and you know you got to really think about russell wilson and his mindset to to allow her to step out like that you know what i'm saying like who's really running the show like you know what i mean a man is supposed to lead and there's no way in hell i let my my wife uh step out and not only disrespect herself but disrespect our family and disrespect our lineage and disrespect the ancestors like you know what i'm saying it's just certain things you don't do out in public and that's one of them um and like um another thing you don't do out in public is you know argue in front of people you know what i'm saying and and putting your hands on each other you know what i mean that's something that's another thing you don't do out in public you know what i'm saying if you have issues in your relationship on um you know, you're constantly taking out on each other. That's the type of stuff is supposed to be in-house. You know what I'm saying? Um, both sides are supposed to, you know, keep their hands to themselves. I don't care if you're a lady and you're smacking your man up. It's still not right. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hands to yourself. And vice versa. Men are not supposed to put their hands on women. You know what I mean? And women are not supposed to be putting their hands on a man. Period. I don't care what you don't like that he did. I don't care what you don't like what she did uh each party is supposed to keep their hands to their help to their self period because a lot of times situations happen to where you know 
um, a woman be putting his hands on a man constantly throughout the year and throughout their time, you know, um, dating and uh, a man go to put his hands on a woman, then he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time she's smacking them up, punching them, hitting them with stuff. You know what I mean? When you can just easily stop all the nonsense and just go your separate ways. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of times these situations happen and you're not even, they're not even married. You know what I mean? They're just dating and, and you know, playing house. So, you know, um, that's another thing. People need to keep their hands to yourself. If you're in a, a relationship where, you know, you don't get along and you're constantly arguing, um, what's the point of being together? Like, seriously, if you guys are not on the same page, what is the point of every day arguing with somebody and you you, act, you really don't like each other and you're together? Like, you know, I don't get it. But Sierra is a grown woman. She can do what she want. But again, the class in society has dropped tremendously. I mean, you know, you turn on the TV, everybody wants to be naked on TV, on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has any class anymore. You know what I mean? Nobody um, walks with elegance. Nobody, you know, carries itself in a proper manner, men and women. You dig what I'm saying? You got men out here, you know, sagging pants and, you know, looking like fools and you got women out here wanting to wear less as possible thinking that that's going to bring them some some type of um, some type of um, you know attention that's going to boost their career. Like I think this was an attention move, honestly, or it, maybe it wasn't an attention move. But me personally, this came out the blue from her. I mean, I would never expect something like this to come from Sierra from, throughout her career. I mean, you know, she has never done anything like this. You know what I mean? I, I mean, she, I, she did do the one video like a man where she was wearing, I think she was wearing a, a suit jacket and she didn't have nothing under it or something like that. It's a couple of videos when she was kind of, you know, wearing not that many clothes, but it wasn't like, like this. It wasn't just like, bam, like <laughs> she's pretty much nude, you know? And, you know, there's another aspect to this too as well. It can be the human body can be looked at as art, you know, um, like this, you know, people, you know, a lot of artsy people get into, you know, nude paintings and, and things of that nature. But, uh, this wasn't a, 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 a art move. I think this was a, a attention grab to kind of resurrect her career because all honesty, nobody's really checking for her musically. Uh, I don't know if she's doing movies or anything like that. Um, I don't know what she's doing, really. Honestly, this is the first time I actually heard anything about Sierra, you know, in a long time. Like, I don't know what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? I, me personally, I'm I'm a fan of some of her music. You know, I'm a fan of her her style. She has a really different style. You know, it's kind of like a mixture of uh, Aaliyah and. Uh, I put it on the lines of Aaliyah and somebody else, man. Um, her style. Sort of like Aaliyah. Sort of like Aaliyah. But she's a way better dancer than Aaliyah. Wait, she's one of the top tier dancers of all time. Let's let's not like act like she's not talented. And that too, people act like Sierra's not talented. Like she didn't sell records. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> do you know how hard it is to have a number one record or to sell? a certain amount of records i believe she's a platinum artist like early in her career she was a she was a platinum artist you know what i'm saying um so i don't know i think i think that towards as she got older she kind of lost her way and could not sustain that 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 same level of success so she started pulling all stuff off like this you know what i'm saying to kind of like get the attention back on her side but you know I don't approve of it I don't I really don't when you are married with um, kids uh, there's certain things you can't do in public and this is one of them wearing something that you're pretty much out on front street and you just you know uh, you have no clothes on you know so I don't know me I wouldn't have allowed her to walk out like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, people are not only going to look at her sideways, they're going to look at Russell Wilson 
more sideways because he's the man in the relationship and he's a he's a football player and it's gonna be like you know football is like one of the most masculine sports there is out there you know besides besides uh you know you know mma and um what else um boxing and all that stuff it's one of the more most masculine sports and they're gonna really start to question russell wilson's position in his relationship who's really running the show you know what i mean like if you're in a relationship nobody really wants to show but you know there's certain things that a man don't allow his woman to do and this is one of them like what are you doing or or do he approve of uh, approve of this of her wearing no clothes at all i mean this is something that's going to stick with her see that's the thing too a lot of people a lot of times people do stuff and they don't realize how long stuff like this is going to stick with them and possibly hurt their career even more and you thinking like you made a, a ill move by you know jumping out on front street and getting butt naked i mean a lot of artists have done it you know um Nicki minaj and uh little kim but the difference with them is that you know they their whole career was based off that you know um shock value you know what i'm saying shock value and being um dressing uh, scandalous and you know um showing showing more skin than clothes their whole career was based off that you know what i'm saying little kim is one of the pioneers of this type of stuff you know Nicki minaj followed after her uh you know, and then you got um, Megan Thee Stallion. They, she's following after Nicki Minaj and Little Kim. So, you know, but Little Kim pioneered this whole thing of jumping out on Front Street and you know being scandalous and getting uh, getting attention. And people let this internet, you know, you know, control their mind, uh, take over their mind. Uh, uh, they think that the internet doing stuff like this is going to help them. And a lot of times. Sometimes it will, but then, you know, sometimes it won't because then people will see you in a different light. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, for the most part, Sierra had a very clean image for the most part. You know, you don't never really hear about her being in any kind of um, scandals. You don't never really hear about her, you know, jumping from person to person. You know, one point in time, she dated 50 Cent. And that's really all you really heard about her as far as like dating and then, you know, she was no longer with 50. And then, boom, she was with uh, Russell Wilson, started dating Russell Wilson. You know, they had kids together and got married. So this is shocking to me coming from her. This is shocking for me. You know what I'm saying? Again, what happened to the class with the women and, and, the, and the men? You know, men are supposed to have class too. Men are not supposed to walk around with their pants hanging off their butt. You know what I'm saying? That's just something you don't do. Um, men are supposed to wear suits and ties and you look professional at times. Not all the time, but you know, every once in a while you gotta bust out that tie and suit and look and look clean and look professional. You know, you don't you just don't know what a suit and tie might do for you when you out in public, you know. People see you in a different light. And when you wear a suit and a tie, you know, you're more approachable. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's possibly has a business idea is more likely to approach you if you're wearing a suit and tie you know what i'm saying you look you look clean and you fresh and clean and you smell good and you know what i'm saying you're all lined up and whatnot uh you're more likely to run into business adventures with other people when you look professional and um that's my thing you should be uh professional at all times you know what i'm saying you should be professional at all times especially in the entertainment like now she's going to get a different rap about her. You know what I'm saying? Um, dressing this way. And um, like I said, she's 39 years old. Uh, she maybe felt like, you know, her, her career was pretty much almost dead. And this is something she thought that would help it. Resurrected by not wearing any clothes. But again, where is the class in not only entertainment, but I mean, outside and, you know, in society with the women and the men where is the class at you know what i'm saying back in the day this you would never see anything like this back in the day you know there's there's no um there's no pushback for nothing now i mean you can do anything you want in society here in america a lot of this stuff that goes on in america is not allowed in a lot of countries you know what i mean they don't they don't condone stuff like this you know what i'm saying and 
it's just like uh, in America, you can pretty much do anything and not get ridiculed for it. You know what I mean? You um, know what I'm saying? Like, she don't understand the magnitude of dressing that way, you know? Uh, like I said, I don't condone it, man. I don't condone it. I don't care who she is. You know what I mean? She's supposed to represent a group of people, not a group of people, but she's a representation of her family, her kids, her husband, uh, the, the ancestors, and you just don't do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just you completely disrespect your whole lineage, your family, you know, everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't respect it. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect it. And again, where where is Russell Wilson's um, kahunas at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna let her step out like that? Not unless it was his, was his idea, and he's one of those uh, free thinkers, you know, who don't really uh, see anything wrong with dressing that way. I mean, but again, uh, I wouldn't let my wife step out like that. No way, no way, no way. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. I wouldn't be out in public. You know, uh, with my pants all the way down to my ankles. You dig what I'm saying? Nobody wants to see what kind of underwear you wear. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to see that. I, th- I think they should pass a law. They really should pass a law. Um, uh, if you uh, hold on. Okay, is this gonna cut off? treadmill what's going on okay sorry guys uh i think it should be a law passed on you know if uh you sag your pants you should be fine you know what i'm saying fifty dollars the first time uh a hundred dollars the next time and then you know if you keep doing it uh 500 what i say 500 a thousand and then uh you keep constantly doing it uh after a certain point you have to do jail time for 30 days. I mean, it's getting ridiculous with the whole pants sagging. It's, uh, you know, that's one that's one style that I thought that would disappear quickly. I never thought that that would be uh, so popular. You know what I'm saying? So popular. Because I never did it. I never, wa- I never wanted to do it. I never wanted to... Uh, walk down the street and have my pants just sagging. I just never wanted to do that. Like, it's disgusting. Like, you disrespecting the elderly, you disrespecting mothers and fathers, you disrespecting uh, yourself. Uh, it's very distasteful. And uh, us as a society got to get back to some class, man. Like, you know, there's just no class anymore. You know, people just think it's cool to do anything. And it's not. You know, I know that uh, this is America and you can do whatever you want for the most part, but it needs to be some limitations. Like, it needs to be some some uh, some type of boundaries, you know? Um, even though it's always been like this, but back in the day, you still had boundaries. Like, you couldn't do certain things or you would lose opportunities. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, that's the problem, you know? Uh, nobody's getting punished financially or you know um losing anything from being for being distasteful you know um you know you say certain things about a group of people and it comes out distasteful i mean you should see you should uh receive replication uh, you know you should receive replications for that man you know uh you do certain things like this you know come out in public pretty much nude uh you should be punished for that financially. You should lose endorsements. You should you should, you should lose uh, record deals. Um, you should no longer be able to operate in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? For doing certain things like this. That's distasteful. To me, it's distasteful. Like, I don't understand where it came from. Like I said, she always carried herself in a certain way throughout her career. And then all of a sudden, boom. She's on some little Kim stuff, some Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj stuff, you know, uh, uh, stag, Megan Thee Stallion type thing, and her career was never based off that. So I don't know where this is coming from. That's that's what's so puzzling about the whole thing. Where is this coming from? Because she never been like this. You know what I'm saying? She never been like this. She always been in the cut, uh, did her thing. You know, she kept her 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 personality pretty much quiet. 
and you know for her to just come out like boom was like whoa what the you know what i'm saying but that's my whole take on it guys i mean you know people need to have more class men and women you know what i'm saying there's certain things you just don't do and there's certain things that either side shouldn't allow the other side to do like women shouldn't be women today young women today shouldn't allow uh, a guy approached it with their pants hanging off their butt. You know what I'm saying? They should say something or not deal with that person. You know, there's no, there's, there's in no way that a guy with his pants hanging off his butt all the way down to his ankles should even have an opportunity to um, um, date anybody, any woman, and vice versa. It, 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 if you dress this way and disrespect yourself like this in public, she shouldn't have an opportunity to be with anybody after that. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Russell Wilson, if I was him, I would give her a warning never to do that again. If you do it again, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. Because this this type of thing could affect him financially too as well. He can lose endorsements. He can lose his NFL um, contract over this. Like, see, she didn't think this out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she can hurt herself as well as hurt him financially. And then what? They have no income coming in. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's losing all types of movie possibility roles and uh, record deals or album, new album coming out or whatever, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or And on top of that, he can lose endorsement deals, uh, 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 NFL contract over this. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a joint thing when you marry. So when you do something crazy ill you know what i'm saying that's gonna affect both of you not just the just just the person doing it so people gotta think stuff out before they do it man they be letting this internet get to their head they be all doing all types of wild stuff on this internet people put their whole lives on this internet i just don't get it you know what i mean like you know it's crazy man it's crazy people actually think the internet is some real life like real life like they don't know how to separate the two anymore. You know what I mean? And that's when the internet becomes dangerous. When you don't, you can't separate reality from, you know, the internet and, you know, not knowing that because people give you likes, that if people give you likes, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know how to separate the two anymore. And it's becoming to the point to where, you know, uh, people don't know reality from fake. And people are starting to, to 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 lean more on the fake with the internet, and that could be dangerous. That could be dangerous because it could be like an actor who does a role, and he's so deep into the role he can't get out of it. It could be sort of something like that where an actor, you know, he plays a certain role, and you know, actors have to get into character. You know what I mean? Really get into character, and a lot of times he can't get out of those characters. It takes a long time. And um, that's what the internet can do to people. It can get you so deep into the 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 uh, the side of wanting to be wanting to be um, wanting to be um, famous and wanting to be seen and um, the attention of it that you can't get out of it, man. You, you know, you go to scrolling on some of these um, apps, TikTok, and all that. And before you know it, you didn't spend three hours on this joint scrolling. You have not realized how much time you just wasted on this app. You know what I'm saying? That's what I be talking about. Like, a lot of people waste a lot of time on these apps. You know what I mean? Instead of, you know, learning some things to get bread. But, yo, that's my take on this whole thing, man. i like to thank everybody for tuning into my podcast, man. I appreciate it. Please share this with everybody, yo. Everybody who think would like to listen to my podcast but that is my take in this podcast episode guys thank everybody for tuning in thank everybody for supporting but i am your gracious host jupiter nine and i just want to say peace and love to everybody take care one